Now, the key to this particular question is that the overriding method, okay, that's method M, no arguments. There's the parent one. It's public, okay. There's the subtype one extending from X. And that's also public, so we're not making any mistakes with visibility. It has to be at least the same visibility in the subtype when we're overriding. So this is the one that's overriding. Now, when the parent throws an exception, as the method says here, I'm throwing an exception, that throws pretty much all the checked exceptions. Okay, that's the parent of them all. The overriding method cannot introduce new checked exceptions and it's not going to here all right it must produce the same ones throw the same ones or throw less and even none at all and that's throwing none at all that's okay that is valid and i have a video about that as well okay coming up why that is now what we have to do here is we have to select a type that will work. Now this is main as it's given. Main is not throwing any exception. There is no try catch block in here either. So we have to be telling the compiler to look at this M method and not that one. So therefore, because the reference is what's important for, we can't use X. Basically, the reference determines the method. So the compiler sees this method M. Obj is the reference that's using it. Compiler traces that back. What's Obj? Obj is XXX. Okay. If you're calling it like that, and if I go back to the question, you'll see I've basically copied this in. Okay. If that is of type, if obj is xxx, then the compiler is expecting you to have something about the exception, be it a throws clause, be it a try catch. The method n up in the class x throws an exception. Therefore, you have to wrap that in a try catch block. Or you have to say that you throws it, the method main throws it. None of that is done. Which means that the M method here must be from YYY. And it is. So what you have to put in there is YYY. Now, what does that mean for the right hand side? That has to be YYY as well. You can't have YYY is assigned new XXX because that's for that's up the hierarchy. Okay. You would need a cast to get it to work. And there is no cast. And at runtime, it's going to give you a problem anyway. You should never be pointing up the tree. A YYY reference should never be looking at an XXX object because in theory, the YYY can have extra methods that xxx does not have okay it'll have certainly the same number of methods that it's inherited but it will not can or can have extra ones so what i'm trying to show you there is that so if i put in y y y on both sides the compiler is happy this bit does not work obviously if I go with XXX referring to a YYY, doesn't matter. So it's the signature of the method in the reference. Obj is of type. That's a reference, obj. That's the object over here. This is the reference referring to it, and that's its type. So the compiler is looking at M in the type XXX. It sees that that throws an exception. So it says, oh, hang on, where's the try catch block? Where's the throws clause? Unreported exception must be caught or declared to be thrown. So that's why it's YYY on both sides. The YYY version here does not 
throw an exception. And when you're overriding, it's perfectly valid to leave off all exceptions. Okay? So that's why that's the answer to that one. So we're talking about the bottom one here. Evaluate that. There it is. 